Summer is finally upon us. And this is the time when we will all start to get outside, take walks, go to the beach, ride bikes, and just be active as much as we can on these beautiful days. It's also the time when we're told you must use sunscreen to protect your skin from the harmful rays of the sun. But getting sun exposure is actually the most effective way to get vitamin D. Vitamin D is required for every process in the human body. In fact, if you have low vitamin D levels, you can actually suffer from so many chronic health diseases like anxiety, depression, poor quality sleep, digestive issues, autoimmune disorders, and even cancers. So if we can increase our vitamin D, we actually can start to win the game against chronic diseases. So getting out in the sun isn't a bad thing but you're also told you must use sunscreen. You must protect your skin from the harmful rays. We're told if we don't use sunscreen, you will get skin cancer. But do you know what's in those sunscreens that are on the market? Most of the sunscreens on the market contain harmful chemicals. And when you put them on the skin and then expose yourself to the sun, your pores will open up and within just seconds to minutes, you will have whatever chemicals you put on your skin in your blood. In fact, there's a recent study in JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, that actually just studied dangerous chemicals that are typically put in sunscreens. And what they found was that in every single one of the chemicals they tested, in every single one of the study subjects, that what they found in the blood after they had applied on the skin was higher than the FDA standard to be considered generally recognized as safe. However, it didn't say that these were not still being used on the market. So what it did originally was flag the FDA to say, let's do more testing to see how dangerous these chemicals actually are. So you can still find some of these chemicals in your skincare products. What you'll want to look for, which is what they found in the study, is that there's only two types of ingredients that are safe to use in sunscreens. One is titanium dioxide and the other one is zinc oxide. And we probably all remember zinc oxide from, I think it was maybe back in the 70s, 80s, or 90s, when you'd put the, the cream on your nose and you'd have the white nose and that protected your nose. But you can buy sunscreens now with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide that actually go on relatively clear on your skin and they'll actually protect without absorbing into the skin and causing damage. At least that's what we know now. We might find out at some point that titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are not good to put on our skin either, but that's for a future episode. For now, the studies have shown that titanium dioxide and zinc oxide showed no harmful effect to human health. Now, when they did the study and they tested all the chemicals, they said that the biggest side effect was skin irritation from these chemicals. What it didn't test for was cancer, because when you get these chemicals into your system, and these chemicals showed up in the study up to 21 days later, even after they stopped using the product on their skin. So these chemicals, once you put them on your skin, they actually will continue to course through your blood. So if you have any kind of chronic health issue, you're going to want to think twice about putting a toxic chemical on your skin for the sake of protecting your skin from the sun you're going to want to be smart about when you get out into the sun. If you're someone who burns easily, then of course, you're not going to want to go out when the rays are at their highest, usually between 11 and two. But I see people at four and five o'clock in the afternoon still slathering on sunscreen. That's actually the safest time for people who will burn easily to be out in the sun without sunscreen. So you can still absorb those rays from the sun and allow that conversion of vitamin D naturally into your bloodstream. See, most of us are actually completely deficient in vitamin D because we live in an area where it's cold and then we go out in, in the short summer months that we have and we're slathering on chemicals that actually block the sun's rays and disallow our body from converting to vitamin D. So you want to get out, you want to get sun exposure, be smart about it. If you're someone like me, I can go out just about any time of day. My body does not burn. And you'll never believe this because 
as much as I am tan already, my vitamin D levels are still not where they should be because my body is able to absorb a lot more rays, but it doesn't mean the conversion is there all the time. So just because you tan easily doesn't mean your vitamin D levels are good either. So I recommend we all take some level of vitamin D throughout the year, just for good health. And then during the summer months, and when the sun is actually shining, get out and take advantage of this. Be smart about it. Go out during the, the times when it's not as strong, if you're going to burn, and just feel that beautiful sun on your skin and know that it's actually nourishing nourishing your health and you're not causing damage by putting harmful chemicals on your skin that will get into your bloodstream. All right, I hope that helped. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.